Hey guys, Ron here from Tactical Fitness and the IWA Academy. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to zero in optics. They're either offset or mounted on top of a current optics. For example, here we have a Trijicon ACOG with an RMR point over the top. I'm a big fan of this type of setup. It allows you to reach those far targets without having to adjust your zoom like on the LPVO. And then you have the red dot for close in engagement. Now, it could be a, a bit cumbersome to zero those two together. So here's a quick trick to do this. Zero your big optic first. It's easier to zero, it's usually quicker to zero at your desired distance. So for example, this is zero for 100 yards. Then to save yourself some time and ammo, steady your rifle on a rest, in a vise, on shooting bags, and then get behind that rifle and make sure that you are aiming at a single point, whatever, a crosshair, a dot, something at distance, and then look through your red dot and then see where that red dot is in relation to where your crosshair, and then bring it down to that same point of aim. Now remember, with your optics, when you make your adjustment, that shifts the point of aim, so the dot actually goes in the opposite direction. So when you shift up, your dot actually goes down, which causes you to then elevate your muzzle up. So once again, steady your rifle, pick a point of aim with your big optic, look through the big optic, look through the red dot, see where the red dot in, is in relation to your optic, and then bring that red dot to match where that optic is aiming. Finally, go on paper and then just verify your zero. So if you wanna have your big optic at 100 yards and you want your red dot at 25, just go to 25 and make sure you're on the correct point of impact. So point of aim, point of impact is the same at 25 yards. Guys, thank you for watching. For more information, check out tacticalfitnessaustin.com or iwiacademy.us.